What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my small channel. Thank you everyone that subscribed to me in the past month. I went over 100 subscribers and to be honest that was my first milestone for YouTube. That sounds like a really small number but I celebrated each and every one of you. For those of you that are new here, my name is Sonia. I focus on luxury beauty and I try to only look at luxury beauty that's also cruelty free. Today I'm going to be focused on Rouge Beauty or Rouge de Paris Beauty. It's a French brand. It's a high-end brand and I'm super excited to show you everything that I got, so let's get into the video. Now I'm not really sure if we can do this video any justice if I keep my hair like this. I feel like this needs to have the French girl style hair, so let me get my scissors out and let me cut some bangs. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling way more French already. I'm looking very, <laughs> not really French, I think way more Asian. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the video. So Rouge de Paris is a fashion and beauty brand. I'm only going to be focusing on the beauty section of the brand. But if you go to the website, it's a French website, but everything is in English. You can really see the Parisian or French way of dressing. It's really nice. It has something elegant but also effortless to it. The creative director of the brand is Jean de Mas or Jean de Ma. I don't really know how to pronounce her name. I'm not French, I'm Dutch. <laughs> so I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that name, but that's not intentional. Any French people out there, please correct me if I'm wrong. Do you say the S or you do not say the S? Now I bought all the products from the website itself, but I know that Violet Grey also sells some of the products. I have one affiliate code down below. I marked it with a star. The affiliate code means that if you use the link down below, I do earn a little bit of commission if you buy the product. You don't have to use the affiliate code. It doesn't affect the price for you. This way you support my channel and make sure that I can continue on reviewing these products for you. But of course you don't have to. It's all up to you. Before I actually start getting into the product line, I do want to mention that everything that you see here is cruelty free and all the products that I have are also vegan. They do have a clean initiative approach to their makeup, but since clean beauty it hasn't been defined yet by the industry, I always find it a little difficult recommending or talking about clean beauty. So I'm just gonna put this up on the screen for you. And I'm gonna note that every single product that I'm using, they do have an ingredient list that you can go into and then you can see if the products are kind of up to your standards or not. So Jeanne Lamas is a fashion icon. I believe she started out as a blogger. And one of the things that put her on the map is kind of this effortless, French style with the bolt but bitten lip and barely any of their makeup, so minimum amount of makeup. And of course, if that's your brand, then you're gonna have a lot of lip products. Now, the first lip product that I wanna talk to you about is the lipsticks. I didn't get any of the lipsticks. It's the largest range that they have, but I was not really interested in getting the lipsticks. I know that they have, I believe, 18 shades and they look really nice. There's a nude collection, there's a chaleur collection that kind of looks more pinky, and then you have the core line. The reason I'm not really interested in Every brand has lipsticks and since she has a lot of lip products, I was more interested in trying some of the other lip products that she has. So I'm sorry for those of you that wanted to know about the lipstick, I, I didn't purchase them. Sorry. What I did get and what I think you guys are most interested in is the lip palette. Now I got my palette in the shade Signature, but there are three palettes out there. There's Signature, which is this color story. There's Chaleur, which is a more pinkish color story. And there's Madame, which is a more he has reddish brown color story. I really debated getting the signature or the Madame palette because I feel like the Madame was more up to my aesthetic, but I thought this one had more versatility. So therefore I went with this one. This is also the signature palette. So it best describes, I think, the brand. The colors aren't named in this palette, so I'm just gonna call them one, two, three, and four. But I do think that all of them have this signature shade in there, which is the Jean shade, or I believe that's what the shade Jean in the rest of the line is based on. Everything that you buy comes in this really cute packaging. On the outside of the cardboard box, it's just you know, the signature rouge color, which is this sort of peachy orange. And if you get the package, everything is delivered in these really cute envelopes with one side being the sticker with the rouge color and the other side being the rouge embossing 
on the envelope, which makes it feel much more luxe. Now, when you open the component up, everything has this kind of art deco style from the 70s gold packaging. I'm sorry, mine is a little bit dirty. It's made out of plastic, but this packaging is cohesive throughout the entire line. This lip palette retails for 39 euros, but I saw that on Violet Gray, it's about $45. It has four shades, all of them do. This lip palette, there are three color stories. However, there's also the powder version of the signature and the powder version of the chaleur. I didn't get any of the powder versions because they have a super matte finish or a hyper matte finish. Anyway, it's very matte and everything in the line is already matte and I'm not really sure if a incredibly matte finish is, works with my lips. The net weight of these palettes is about 6 milliliters or 0.2 fluid ounces. Now I say about because the weird part is on the website it says 6 milliliters but on the back of this one it actually states that it's 5 milliliters and 0.17 fluid ounces. So I don't know why that's different. Um, and that's kind of annoying me, <laughs> but yeah, no, nothing I can do about it except for letting you know that the net weight on here It says it's a five milliliters or 0.17 ounces. It has a shelf life of 18 months This one is vegan and it's made in Italy I think all of the products that I'm showing you today are made in Italy now the Madame palette of this one It doesn't show on the website that it is vegan So therefore I can assume that not everything in the line is vegan. So I did demo all of the colors for you I'm first going to show you the swatches and I'm gonna name all the colors one, two, three, and four, and then I'll demo all the colors for you. Now I do really believe that you need to warm up these colors with your finger when you're using them. And when I use this without a foundation, so that's what I did in the demo, they are a little bit stiff to apply. Today I applied it with uh, a foundation on and that worked much better for me. They are incredibly true to color when you put them on your cheeks. So as you can tell for my demos, you definitely see me freak out the first time I use the color because they're so bold and so intense. That's really nice for the lips, but on the cheeks it can be a little bit daunting, but you can share them out really great. I did do a three day wear test with this one, so my final thoughts are going to be at the end of the video. Next thing I want to talk about is the lip floor. They all come in these really cute little bottles. They kind of look like nail polish bottles to me. They are 29 euros in price. They have 14 grams of net weight or 0.49 ounces. 
and they have a shelf life of about 12 months. I have about six colors currently and the color that I chose was Marie which is described as a brownish red. The description of the velour goes as follows. The rouge velour is a creamy matte lip color like a second skin. One layer on your lips is enough for an intense color which lasts for hours and hours. Marie the brownish red, an ultimate chic for the fall season. Because it's fall, I decided to go on this color and I'm gonna be honest with you, this is my favorite color throughout the entire line. This color you could also get in a stilo and you can get it also in a lipstick formula. So that's a really nice thing that Rouge does. If you enjoy a color but you don't like this type of formula, but you do like a, for example, stilo formula, you can get the same color but then in the stilo format. When you unscrew the top, you get this really cute little doe foot and you can use it just like any other liquid lip. It applies like a liquid lip, but it feels way more light on the lips. It's really true to color and I love the intensity and the way it applies. It's so easy to apply initially. In the demo, I applied this one and have the second color of the palette on my cheeks. The third thing that I bought was a lip stilo. I was really excited about these lip stilos and almost bought all of the shades because I just went in this kind of Alice in Wonderland haul. These lip stilos are retailed at 29 euros. They have a net weight of 1.7 grams or 0.06 fluid ounces. They have a shelf life of 18 months just like the lip palette. They have a color range of about eight shades, so two shades more than the Velours. And I chose the shade Jean, which is a classic red shade. And it's of course a shade named after the creative director herself. I swatched the shade next to the lip palette, next to the supposedly Jean shade, but you do see that this one Pulls a little bit more cool toned than the lip palette shade. The description of the stilo states as following a thin and rounded stick to color the lips in just one movement. Clear and bright shades with a slightly powdery matte texture, designed to be forgotten, comfortable, long lasting, and a pleasure to apply. The essential of any makeup bag. Now, both the velour and the lip stilo, I also did a wear test on. I've been using all these products all week, so I will let you know in my final thoughts how this applied. Even though Jeanne Lemas is famous for her lips, she does have some eye products. She has an eyeliner and mascara, and she has an eyelash curler. I got the eyeliner and the mascara. I decided to get a gift set, and in the gift set, you get a stilo, the eyeliner, and the mascara all together. I figured this would be more cost efficient for me, and the gift set is really cute. You do get in this really nice Rouge de Paris box that has a ribbon that you could open and it has a quote in the middle. Oops. Now the quote is in French and since I don't speak French, I don't know what it says, but it does add to the beauty of it all. I think because Jeanne de Ma is more famous for her lips, I don't think that people often think about their mascara or the eyeliner, but I will say that the eyeliner and the mascara top-notch products. I know that I shouldn't get into my final thoughts right now, but let's just first get into the packaging. Again, all of the things, all of the components are this Art Deco style component of the 70s. All of them have this Rouge Beauty logo on top. The eyeliner retails for 19 euros. It has a six month shelf life and it's vegan. It's one of those felt tip eyeliners. So I hadn't used one of those in about two years and I was a little bit afraid about using that again, but I hope that you can see that on my application in the demo, it's it applies like a dream. So again, I don't want to get too much into the final thoughts, but as you can imagine, I was very pleasantly surprised about this eyeliner because I thought more about the lip colors and I didn't get too excited about the liner, but I am very much excited. So same goes for the mascara. The mascara also has the same Art Deco packaging and retails for 19 euros. It has 7 milliliters or 0.24 fluid ounces. It has a six month shelf life, which is normal for eye products. The same goes for the eyeliner. It's vegan and it has a really interesting applicator. I show it next to the Charlotte Tilbury applicator. This is the full fat lashes applicator. It's way more organized than full fat lashes. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the hourglass applicator for some reason. It's stiff, but not too stiff, and you can really get into the nitty gritty of your eyelashes. It really adds volume to your lashes, but it does also add a lot of length. I think these are more made for length. The description of the mascara is love at first sight. This mascara gives the lashes a natural volume while protecting them at the same time. Its brush defines and lengthens the lashes. It's rich in castor oil and calendula extract. The caring formula wraps and moisturizes your lashes. With each application, the mascara gives a wide range of effects from a naturally enhanced look to an intense bolder one. 
I like to apply this mascara in two coats and I think that that's enough when you're using this mascara. Now, the last thing that I purchased is not a beauty product, but it's one of their makeup bags. They have a really nice range of makeup bags. They have these pouches that kind of look like old school style coin purses, but then with really nice textures. They have the granddaddy of them, which is a huge coin purse. I think you can fit the entire collection in that one but they also had this really nice Stilo makeup case, which is this velour type of feel makeup case, old school style makeup case, and it has this one little coin on there that has the brand name on there. Now the makeup case retails for 15 euros and it states a makeup artist pouch in which to keep your Stilo collection, your regards essentials or palette. So it has a case for one of the lip palettes and it has about room for five Stilos. And this is what it looks like when you put all the products inside. Now I have my palette in here, the mascara inside the same compartment as the palette, the eyeliner and my stilo. And then you can just close it up and wrap it around and take this with you as a everyday makeup bag. I thought this was so beautiful. I couldn't resist. I like packaging. I'm a bit of a, I always say packaging whore. I, I love what I get the entire experience and I really feel so cute, so luxe with this. So I was very happy to get this added to my collection. I've been wearing these products all week, so I have been really being able to wear test every single one of these products. The first day I wore the palette, so the second shade of the palette and the velour, and this is kind of what I said on that day. Hi guys, so this is my four hour wear test. The cheeks still look great. The velour stick, as you can see, really is accentuating my dry patches, but it wore well the first few hours. The eyeliner looks amazing and the mascara looks amazing. Now, this is something that my lips do with every matte formula that I have. I think the only one that's currently above all is the Lisa Eldridge formula, the velvet ones. They wore much better than anything I've ever had before. I still don't feel like I feel anything. The pigment is still there. So if you don't have dry lips, then this is a really great formula for you. I am gonna reapply and see how it continues on on the day. All right, bye. On the second day, I wore the third shade of the palette and the lip stilo. Of course, both of the days I did wear the eyeliner and the mascara. And on the first day, I wore the eyeliner and mascara with an eye primer and on the second day I wore the eyeliner mascara without the eye primer. Hi guys, this is the second day wear test. My lips feel fine. It's been on about I think four hours and this is the Stilo after about four hours. It did lose some color but it definitely isn't as dry as yesterday's velour. I do see a little bit of texture on my lips but um, I think if you put a little bit of gloss over, it looks fine, or it feels fine. I'm wearing the third shade of the palette, of the floor palette, on my cheeks, and the pigment is really strong, guys. Also, I think it's best to warm up the palette with your finger before going into your cheeks, and I didn't do that on the first day. Then the shades are really creamy and easy to use. So maybe it was just a little, um, flaw in the way I was applying it. Anyway, bye. On the last day, I really wanted to put the palette to the test, so I put the palette on my cheeks, lips, and on my eyes. I mainly focused on the third and fourth shades because those are the most crazy and the most bold. And this is what I said. Hi everyone, this is my four to five hour wear test, wear time. Um, this is what it looks like. The blush is still going uh, very strong. It's crazy. Um, bless you. And the eyeshadow portion of it all, as you can see, it has started to crease. The palette does hold up on my lips, as you can tell. I'm not wearing any foundation, so I'm so sorry about this bad boy over here, but... Yeah, my lips do look dry, I'm well aware. And all of these are matte finishes and matte finishes do do this to my lips. Uh, but they don't feel very dry. I think if I put a gloss over it, it doesn't even leave pigment anymore, you see? 
It's just stained my lips this way, this kind of powdery look. Um, but I think if I wear a gloss over it, if nothing is wrong, then you just nourish the lips back to health. Um, I'm really impressed. This is my basically my full face of just the signature palette alone. So, and as you can tell, if I just put my eyes normally, you can't see the discoloration of the liner. So here are my final thoughts and recommendation. At first, I do want to talk about the eye products because I don't think that they get a nut of love on the internet. So let's first talk about the eyeliner. The eyeliner and this type of application I was a little afraid of because I hadn't used a felt tip liner like this in years. I think before COVID times. And the reason I didn't do that is actually two reasons. One, I liked more of the blended out look, I guess maybe because I'm getting older and I have really hooded lids. So I figured that these type of eyeliners don't really work for me because they often transfer on top of my lid or transfer in my hood. Now, neither on the first, second or third day, this eyeliner budged. It was beautiful. It stayed on the lids. It didn't go on top of my lids. It didn't go in my crease lines when I smiled. I am so impressed with the formula, but not just the formula, also the way of application, the tip. It's really rich and pigmented and it's not too flimsy. I don't know if I can show you this in a demo, but it's kind of like, it has enough flimsy to it, but it's not flimsy enough to mess you up. When, I, when you see my initial demo, you see it in true time. And I applied this, I think within 30 seconds, both eyes, and it was so easy to use. I'm keeping this top drawer. I love this. I love the packaging. Of course, it's six months shelf life, and that's not very long. And for 19 euros, maybe this doesn't fit in your budget. But honest to goodness, if you're looking for a felted liner that works well, and you have the budget for it, this might be the felted liner for you. Now the mascara. Again, it's an eye product and I was like, ah, you know, let's just look at the lips, not necessarily look at the eye products, but honest to goodness, again, it's a big, big hit for me. Every makeup wearer should know that mascara she should replace every six months. So it's not weird that this has a six month shelf life. It's 25 euros, so again, not the cheapest mascara, but if you have the budget for it and you like the line, then this is a good mascara for you. The applicator is organized and mainly adds to me, I feel length, but it does add some volume because it has so many hairs on it. So before I forget to mention it about this mascara, I said that everything was made in Italy. The mascara is actually made in Germany. By the way, if you hear something on the background, that's my baby. I just fed him. So in between these takes, I'm feeding him and changing his diapers and going for walks. And he's just very talkative right now. So um, yeah, that's just part of mom life. Now let's talk about the thing that everybody's most interested in. And the one that I wear tested probably the most of all the products. And that is the lip palette. So let's first talk about the colors. I did think this color story was very versatile, don't get me wrong, but if I had to do this over again, I'd probably get the Madame palette. I think I'm going to gravitate towards the second shade the most, just because that's the most wearable on me. Now all the shades are incredibly pigmented. You can do a blotted lip look by tapping your finger in a little bit and then blotting over your lip. I like applying this with a lip brush just to get not the blotted lip look but the more precise lip look. So the look isn't really for me and maybe the color story isn't really for me either. But then we're going to talk about was this good or not? Is it good value for money? Yes, it's highly pigmented. So shearing it out was a little bit difficult. So my tips are add a good moisturizer or primer before applying this. Today I'm wearing a foundation and this applied so much better over foundation than over my bare skin like I did in the demos. The wear time on this, it's it's all right. It's exactly what you expect the wear time for this to be. The wear time on the cheeks is probably the best. It's it basically stays on all day. It's really true to color and I just love it as a cheek product. Now on the eyes, honestly, I'm not really sure if these are the appropriate colors to go on the eyes. I felt a little bit heroin chic, very red. It makes me look a little sick when I put these type of tones on the eyes. Maybe if I go into this one on the eyes, so the second shade, which is my favorite shade, but still with that one, all of them have contain a sort of reddish undertone so I'm not really sure if that 
is good for on the eyes. Next to that, I have hooded lids and I have very oily lids. So there was creasing and not even a little bit. There was a significant amount of creasing. So I won't recommend this as an eye product, but I am interested in the powder version and how that wears on the cheeks, on the lips, but also on the eyes. I can imagine that the powder version is much better for the eyes. And unfortunately, the powder version isn't available in Madame because if I saw the powder version in Madame, I probably would try that one next. So the last thing that I wanna say about this lip palette is that you might wanna have some comparison swatches to the Westman Atelier lip but I'm not gonna do that in this video. I don't wanna make this video too long and I'm already reviewing a lot of products. I'm, I'm thinking this video is gonna be in the longer side. So I did order the newest version of this lip palette of Westman Atelier, the one that comes in the holiday gift box. And I'm gonna do comparison swatches with this one in that video. So subscribe to my channel if you wanna see that. Now the second lip product that I wanna be talking about is the Lip Stilo. Now as you can hear from my voice, I'm very excited about this Lip Stilo. I thought I was gonna be excited about this Lip Stilo, so therefore I also bought the Stilo makeup bag, and honestly, it's worth the hype. It's so nice in application in the sense that it's big enough to get over the lips quick and easy, but it's also small enough to not have to use a lip liner. In the end of the day, I wore this with a lip gloss on top of it, and it basically wore all day, even though the color did fade a bit, it wore essentially all day. I was very interested in these. I'm very happy I got this. As a lip product, I think I would recommend this over all the other lip products. It's of course less versatile than the lip palette, so if you're looking for versatility and a you know, simple makeup routine, then maybe the lip palette is much more fun and easy for you. But if you're looking for something with a good applicator and just bold color, this might be the one for you. I definitely wanna pick up more colors. I wanna pick up the shade Marie and Emily. And Marie is also the shade that I got on the floor, but I wanna get those for my makeup kit just to complete the entire kit. Unfortunately, the velour is in last place and this is probably the only product I won't recommend from the line. All of the products you see here are matte and this was a very extreme matte. Also, if you can see from my wear test, it didn't perform as well as the other two. After about four hours, it started to really stick on my dry patches and it kind of flaked off at the end of the day. And four hours to me isn't a very long wear test. Now I require my lip products to do a lot for me. I eat burgers, I eat everything, and I wanna, I kind of expect them to just stay put. You're allowed to lose a little bit of color, but you're not allowed to look bad on me after a few hours. And four hours was a little bit too short for me. It's not even a full working day. I wanted to love this. I wanted to have a lot of these, put on my vanity next to each other. I kind of had this whole thing imagined in my head and I'm so sad to say that I probably won't be reaching for this. It's a complete collection. What do I think about it? You know, it's honestly super beautiful. I, I definitely look at this and it makes me so happy. It's so cohesive. It's so on brand for them. I love that they did the packaging completely the same for everything. So you have a, a really nice feel and look towards it. When I open this, I get I get really happy. Makeup can make me so happy just because it looks so beautiful and it looks luxe and I enjoy this experience. I hope that I inspired you to look at this brand and look at the line and maybe get something for yourself. I, I will say that I am missing a bit of complexion products because right now I am wearing a foundation, a powder and a bronzer just to add and also eyebrow products, of course, but just to add a little bit more zhuzh to my face because my complexion isn't perfect. So as a complete face, I won't recommend this. So yeah, I it's not a complete makeup look for me, but it has the basics. And to bring this along, maybe together with a concealer and a powder, I think you can make a really beautiful look out of this. Some of you might've clocked me already, but of course I didn't. <laughs> cut my hair for the video. In the spirit of Halloween, I figure I might just trick or treat you guys and treat you to a faux bang look. 
<laughs> but I hope you love the video. Happy Halloween for those of you celebrating it. In the Netherlands, it's really starting to pick up and it's probably one of my favorite American holidays out there. I love watching horror movies. Anyway, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these type of videos. Comment down below if you want to see more shades. Doing a dedicated review like this, I'll only do if there's enough pull and enough interest uh, from you. So definitely comment down below if you're interested in seeing more of these products. I will buy more products just for me and probably mention them here and on out through my channel, but it doesn't mean I'll do another dedicated video on Rouge Beauty unless they come out with like really great new collections. I am definitely interested in getting a powder palette. I'm also interested in getting more stilos. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that as well. Also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this or subscribe to my channel if you want to see the lip palette compared to the Westman Atelier lip palettes. And of course, thank you so much for watching and make it to the end of this video, seeing my non-bang review. <laughs> and have a great, great day. Bye.